very good morning to you. Welcome to KTM Midmorning. My name is Koi. Now this week we tackle a number of issues that have to do with our reproductive health with the help of some insight from a variety of doctors. So as a woman, you certainly do not want to miss out on any feature this week. In fact, to kick us off is a condition that many men don't know how to deal with and many women surprisingly do not understand. Dr. Amit Agalwar helps us tackle the dreaded premenstrual syndrome. That's next. The monthly dance of the menstrual cycle is governed by the interplay of various hormones in the body. A hormone is a chemical substance secreted by an organ, gland or special cell and travels by way of body fluids to affect other tissue. And with all that dancing and traveling through a woman's body, it is hard not to expect a reaction. But there is the sanctuary. The sanctuary seeks to demystify and naturally treat the root cause of PMS. But what is this PMS? PMS or premenstrual syndrome is a collection of symptoms women experience either before or during their menstrual cycle and sometimes even in between. Uh, they can experience anything from irritability, mood swings, breast tenderness, gas, bloating, water retention, um, heavy bleeding, irregular menses as well often coincide with, uh, with extreme PMS symptoms. PMS, Prehistoric Monster Syndrome. PMS is also referred to as premenstrual tension, and men have for a long time tried to ease through PMS. Do not become a statistic. These are the facts. Soothing the beast within remains a dangerous, but many times successful solution. Now let's see these tips in action. Howard, have I gained weight? to take a hot bath while I massage your back? What? Why? Because I love you, and I am the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Howard, I love you. But seriously, some fail to recognize that the amount and levels of hormones change daily and from stage to stage of the menstrual cycle. Progesterone deficiency estrogen dominance is what hormone imbalance is all about. Men don't feel like you're a victim of your partner, you're actually a victim of hormones. So don't take it personally, um, it is actually a treatable condition. All these symptoms of water retention, painful periods, they're a sign of an imbalance going on in the body. And an imbalance in the body means your organs are not functioning optimally or your diet is being affected, or your lifestyle is not at a health, is not healthy. And having PMS then puts, gives you an indication that you are at a higher risk of developing um, diseases such as endometriosis, ovarian cysts, fibroids, and you can also be at a higher risk of uh, developing cancer as well. Finding out what state your hormones are in without waiting for PMS can also be done by taking a fun test on www.healthretreatsafrica.com. By filling out a very simple questionnaire uh, on our website where it helps you distinguish if you have more water retention or gas and bloating or irritability or spotting or painful periods 
And the website is www.healthretreatsafrica.com. And by filling out this questionnaire, I can assess literally how to treat the root cause of what's going on for you. It's, it's a starting point. It's a guideline to see what direction we need to go in. More news is that our lifestyle choices could be the cause of uncomfortable and difficult PMS. Diet is important in hormonal balance because, number one, diet provides you a lot of nutrients. And these nutrients are important for all your organs to function properly. The second reason why diet is important is because a lot of people eat foods that cause inflammation and cause toxicity in the body. So you don't want to have too much sugar or coffee, okay, or alcohol as well, because these increase the levels of inflammation in your body and also throw off your hormonal balance. Meat, depending on what type of meat you have, uh, meat is important, especially fish and chicken are healthier meats, because meat provides protein and protein provides a slow release of nutrients into your body. A lot of people have a lot of high sugar foods when they have these cravings. A lot of sugar is a problem because a couple of things, sugar creates inflammation in your body, high amounts of it. The second thing is sugar is converted into fat very fast by your liver. Now a lot of sugar will put a lot of burden on your liver and give it extra work to do. That means your liver becomes toxic as well as sluggish. Now your liver also controls your hormones. So when your liver becomes toxic or sluggish, your whole hormonal balance is thrown off. Everything should be had in moderation, even PMS. And Dr. Amit takes us through the holistic treatment that he offers. This works along the spine, where a lot of nerves come out. Could you please enter? And all these nerves go to your different organs. So what we do is we bring about balance back to the body. Pain is one of the toppings on the PMS cake. Bowen therapy is a holistic and multi-dimensional approach to pain relief and healing. It's very simple though and it's one of the most powerful techniques I actually practice. You might start feeling drowsy actually, that's fine. Because what's happening is we're shutting down your body here. Different scene now after this one. Acupuncture is an alternative medicine that treats patients by insertion and manipulation of needles in the body. Its proponents variously claim that it relieves pain, treats infertility, treats disease, prevents disease or promotes general health. your first ever acupuncture treatment yeah it's entirely painless okay and so we just let her rest there for about 20 minutes Then there's the castor oil pack treatment that is considered more of a DIY treatment. Castor oil packs are a fantastic way to detoxify the liver. We basically place cast, we rub castor oil over the liver area. You don't have, you don't swallow it. 
because casserole can be uh, can actually induce labor and can be quite dangerous if you drink it too much. That's usually done only under medical supervision. However, externally we use casserole to detoxify the liver by rubbing it over your liver area on your skin, which is underneath your right rib cage, then placing a white cloth without any colors over that area, covering that with plastic to protect your clothes, and then putting a hot water bottle in there. The heat actually drives the castor oil inwards, and your skin absorbs the castor oil over your liver area, which helps flush out toxins from your liver. It is worth noting that a woman's response to her own cyclical hormones is extremely individual. Bath control pills and menopausal hormone replacement therapy will cause a long list of side effects including PMS in many women while others will say they feel fine. This is why it's so important that you become familiar with your own body and your own symptoms and find the treatment that best suits you. Now for most women, the symptoms of premenstrual syndrome are mild, but for a small portion, the symptoms can be so severe that they dread this particular time of the month. Now if you do suffer from those severe symptoms from PMS, be sure to get some help. Midmorning at standupmedia.co.ke is our email address. Do drop us a line if you want to, or find us on Facebook. The name of the page is KTM Midmorning. I have been your host, Koi. That's all we have for you today. I'll see you tomorrow.